FBI misses deadline to provide docs to Judiciary Committee probing whistleblower raid. The Justice Department and FBI have missed a Wednesday deadline to provide information about the government's mysterious raid on a former FBI contractor turned whistleblower's home last month. Sixteen FBI agents on November 19 raided the home of Dennis Nathan Kane, who reportedly gave the Justice Department's Inspector General, IG, documents related to the Uranium One controversy and potential wrongdoing by former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. The documents in question allegedly showed that federal officials failed to investigate possible criminal activity related to Clinton, the Clinton Foundation and Rosatom, a Russian nuclear company. Its subsidiary purchased Canadian mining company Uranium One in 2013. Obama-era Uranium One deal, what to know? Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa, whose panel has oversight of the Justice Department, penned a letter to FBI Director Christopher Wray and Justice Department IG General Michael Horowitz, requesting information on the justification for the raid. Grassley gave Ray and Horowitz until December 12 to respond to his request. That deadline has come and gone, and neither the FBI nor DOJ has produced any documents or response. We have not yet received answers to the chairman's questions on this matter, a Judiciary Committee spokesperson told Fox News late Thursday. The FBI consistently has refused Fox News' request for comment on the whistleblower raid and the Judiciary Committee's requests. On Thursday, an FBI spokesperson told Fox News the agency would respond only to inquiries from the entity that requested the documents in this case, the Judiciary Committee. Nate Kane At Kane underscore Nate Replying to at Kane underscore Nate As frustrating and violating as this feels to me and my family. I will continue to put my trust in God. Someday this life will pass away. I will stand before my Maker with a clean conscience and Jesus as my defender. Until then I continue to fight the good fight with God's help. 4621 821 AM, December 11, 2018 Twitter adds info and privacy. 1457 people are talking about this. Twitter adds info and privacy. Questioning whether we now live in a secret police state, Kane took his frustration about the situation to Twitter earlier this week. So I blow the whistle on the FBI, get raided by the same FBI, and now they want to keep the FBI's reasons secret? Do we now live in a secret police state? Feels a little like 1984, Kane tweeted late Monday. The tweet eventually was deleted. The Daily Caller requested that a court unseal the relevant search warrant materials, but the U.S. Attorney for the District of Maryland, in a court filing, said, the request should be denied. Public disclosure of any search warrant materials would seriously jeopardize the integrity of the ongoing investigation, the filing by the U.S. Attorney's Office said. Continued sealing is essential in order to guard against possible tampering of witnesses and destruction of evidence, to maintain the ability of the grand jury to investigate this matter and to prevent the disclosure of sensitive investigative techniques and methods. A spokesperson for U.S. Attorney for the District of Maryland Robert K. Hur declined to comment. Kane's lawyer, Michael Sokaraz, told the Daily Caller the agent who led the raid accused his client of possessing stolen federal property. In response, Kane reportedly claimed he was a protected whistleblower under federal law, and said he was recognized as such by Horowitz. Sokaraz also claimed Horowitz had transmitted information on the sale of Uranium One to a Russian firm's subsidiary to both the House and Senate Intelligence Committees. A spokesperson for the Inspector General declined to comment. As frustrating and violating as this feels to me and my family. I will continue to put my trust in God. Someday this life will pass away. I will stand before my Maker with a clean conscience sick and Jesus as my defender. Until then I continue to fight the good fight with God's help, Kane tweeted Monday night. Anti-Trump FBI agents' phones completely wiped as DOJ watchdog looks for their text messages. On Tuesday, he added, thank you for the outpouring of encouragement. You all are awesome. A boxer goes into his corner to rest for a minute, refocus, 
and get some sideline coaching. Then the bell rings and he's ready to go another round. This fight is spiritual and God is in our corner. Ding! Rom 831 Nate Kane At Kane underscore Nate Thank you for the outpouring of incurment. You all are awesome. A boxer goes into his corner to rest for a minute, refocus, and get some sideline coaching. Then the bell rings and he's ready to go another round. This fight is spiritual and God is in our corner. Ding! Rom 831 4629 744 p.m., December 11, 2018 Twitter adds info and privacy. 1,488 people are talking about this. Twitter adds info and privacy. Fox News has previously reported that Douglas Campbell, an FBI informant involved in the Uranium One deal, has testified to lawmakers that Moscow paid millions to American lobbying firm APCO worldwide to influence Clinton and the Obama administration. The contract called for four payments of $750,000 over 12 months. Campbell said in his statement this past February. APCO was expected to give assistance free of charge to the Clinton Global Initiative as part of their effort to create a favorable environment to ensure the Obama administration made affirmative decisions on everything from Uranium One to the US-Russia Civilian Nuclear Cooperation Agreement. State Department provided clearly false docs to derail Clinton probe, shocked federal judge says. APCO has denied Camel's claims while Clinton called any claims of wrongdoing related to the Uranium One deal the same baloney they've been peddling for years, and there's been no credible evidence by anyone. In fact, Clinton told C-SPAN in October 2017, it's been debunked repeatedly and will continue to be debunked. Separately, the DOJ and special counsel Robert Mueller face a Friday afternoon deadline to turn over documents related to their questioning of fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Flynn's team has alleged the FBI pressured him not to have a lawyer at the White House meeting in January 2017, after which Flynn was charged on one count of lying to federal authorities. Flynn who had to sell his house this year amid mounting legal bills later pleaded guilty to lying to agents about a conversation he had with the Russian ambassador in December 2016 about sanctions that had recently been imposed by then-President Barack Obama. Flynn has since acknowledged seeking to convince Russia not to retaliate for those sanctions during the presidential transition period. But Flynn's lawyers, in an explosive Tuesday court filing that threatens to upend his pending sentencing, charged that the FBI had not finalized their pivotal, and only, account of Flynn's statements until August 2017 nearly eight months after their interview with him. Fired FBI Director James Comey has since admitted the Flynn meeting broke normal agency protocol. Fox News